Greetings everyone. Only geniuses solve this problem in under two minutes. Prove me wrong in the comments. Before we dive into this challenge, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to more math videos like these ones. So here we have a pair of simultaneous equations where the solutions for x and y seems impossible to solve. We start to solve these equations by finding the value of one of the variables. In this case, we can isolate x and solve for y. So we have y is equal to 24 minus x. And then we rewrite equation 2 and supply the value of y in this equation. So therefore, we have x times y, which is x times 24 minus x is equal to 48. Then we use our distributive property that says x times 24 is 24x and x times negative x is x squared and as we say that this is equal to 48. As we are writing this equation, we can see a pattern of a quadratic expression is being formed here. This means that we can write our equation as negative x squared plus 24x and this 48 comes over as a negative so we have negative 48 is equal to 0. And now from here we aim to rewrite this expression to have a positive x squared. So then we can multiply our equation by negative 1. And multiplying by negative 1 gives us positive x squared minus 24x plus 48 is equal to 0. And now from here we can see that we have what we call a trinomial expression where the value of a, b, and c is that a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 24, and c is equal to 48. This therefore means that we can solve x by using what we call the quadratic equation where we have x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, since we know the values of a, b, and c, we can respectively put in the values. So we have negative b as negative in brackets negative 24 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is negative 24 squared minus 4 times a and as we say a is 1 so that's 4 times 1 and c is 48 so that's 4 times 1 times 48. And this, as we say, is all over 2a, so that's 2 times 1. And now from here, we can have a breakdown of our solution. So we have negative in brackets, negative 24 is going to give us a positive 24 plus or minus the square root of. We know a negative 24 being squared is going to give us a positive value, which is 576 minus 4 times 1 times 48, which is going to give us 192. All over 2 times 1 is 2. And now from here we can subtract what's inside the square root so we have 24 plus or minus the square root of 576 minus 192 gives us 384 and this is all over 2. And now we can have a breakdown of this solution so we have 384. 384 can be rewritten in another way. So here we have x is equal to 24 plus or minus the square root of and we rewrite 384 as 2 to the power of 7 times 3. And this is all over 2. And then from here, we can further look at this as saying 24 plus or minus the square root of 2 to the power of 6 times 2 times 3. And of course, we're dividing this by 2. So now this leaves us with x is equal to 24 plus or minus the square root of 2 to the power of 6. And we have 2 to the power of 6 times 2 times 3 is 6. So that's 2 to the power of 6 times 6 all over 2. And this can be rewritten as x is equal to 24 plus or minus the square root of 2 to the power of 6 times the square root of 6. And of course, as we say, we are dividing by 2. So we can write all of this over 2. Now, looking at what we have here, we can have a breakdown of what's going on here. So what we have here is that x is equal to 24 plus or minus the square root of 2 to the power of 6. We know the square root of 2 to the power of 6 is the same as 2 to the power of 6 over 2, which is the same as 2 to the power of 3. And therefore, we can have our expression as 24 plus or minus 2 to the power of 3 times square root of 6 all over 2. And since 2 to the power of 3 gives us 8, it means therefore that x is equal to 24 plus or minus 8 times root 6. 
Therefore, we have two solutions for x. So for our first solution, we have x is equal to 24 over 2 plus 8 root 6 over 2. And for our second solution for x is that we have x is equal to 24 over 2 minus 8 root 6 over 2. And so for our solutions, we can have a breakdown. So we would say that 2 into 24, that's 12. So we do that on both sides. And 2 into 8, that's 4. So therefore, our first solution for x is that x is equal to 12 plus 4 root 6. And our second solution for x is that x is equal to 12 minus 4 times root 6. So these are our solutions for x, and this means that we can plug in these values to solve for y. So our solution for x1 is that x is equal to 12 plus 4 root 6, and our solution for x2 is that x is equal to 12 minus 4 times root 6. And so we'll be using these values of x to solve for y. So the value of y1 is that y1 is equal to 24 minus the value of x1, and y2 is equal to 24 minus the value of x2. Therefore, y1 is equal to 24 minus, in bracket, 12 plus 4 root 6. And the value of y2, y2 is equal to 24 minus x2, which is 12 minus 4 root 6. So from here, we can simplify our solutions. So here we have y1, and we simplify this equation by multiplying by negative 1. So therefore, we have 24 minus 12 minus 4 root 6. And we also simplify for y2. So we have y2 is equal to 24 minus 12 plus, as a negative and a negative gives us a positive, so we have plus 4 root 6. So then from here, we can see clearly that our solution for y1 is that y1 is equal to 24 minus 12, that's 12 minus 4 root 6. And we simplify for y2, and so we have y2 is equal to 12 plus 4 root 6. And there we have it. We have a pair of solutions for x and we also have a pair of solutions for y. So our solution for x1, y1 is that x1 is equal to 12 plus 4 root 6, 12 minus 4 root 6. And our solution for x2, y2 is that we have x2 as 12 minus 4 root 6 comma for y we have 12 plus 4 root 6 so those are our pair of solutions for x and y now from here we can verify our solutions for x and y so our equation initially was that x plus y is equal to 24 and x times y is equal to 48. We'll be using our solutions for x and y as we did previously to see if our solutions are correct. In verifying our solutions, we can use either combinations to check our results. So we have x1, y1 as 12 plus 4 root 6 plus y1, 12 minus 4 root 6. Now here we have a positive 4 root 6 and a negative 4 root 6. These two can be cancelled out. And so what we are left with is that we have 12 plus 12. And 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. So just like that, we see how we verify our first solution. So in verifying our solution with equation 2, we'll be continuing using the values of x1, y1. And as was said, we have x1 as 12 plus 4 root 6 and y1 as 12 minus 4 root 6. And as we approach to the end of this video, please remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more content like these ones. So moving over to equation 2, we have x times y is equal to 48. Using our solution as x1 comma y1, we therefore have 12 plus 4 root 6 times 
12 minus 4 root 6 and we put these in brackets and so from here we will be expanding our brackets using foil we have 12 times 12 that's 12 squared and we have 12 times negative 4 root 6 that's actually negative 48 root 6 and we also take positive 4 root 6 times by 12 that's plus 48 root 6 and we also multiply 4 root 6 by negative 4 root 6 which is going to be squared so we have negative 4 root 6 in brackets all squared so 12 squared is 144 and we have minus 48 root 6 plus 48 root 6 so those are cancelled out and so we are left with just the 144 minus 4 root 6 all squared and so from here we have 144 minus the value of 4 being squared times root 6 also being squared and we simplify that by saying 144 minus we know that 4 squared is 16 and we know that the root the square root cancel out the square so we are left with 144 minus 16 times 6. So using the order of operation, we know that we multiply first. So we say 144 minus 16 times 6 is 96. So that gives us 144 minus 96. And 144 minus 96 equals 48. So there we have it. We have our solution being verified using our second equation. So therefore, it's clear to say that our solutions are true as we have just checked them using both our equations. So where we have x plus y is equal to 24, the solution is that 12 plus 4 root 6 plus 12 minus 4 root 6 is equal to 24. And also plug in the values for x times y is equal to 48, that's 12 plus 4 root 6 times 12 minus 4 root 6 and as we say we can interchange using the values of x2 comma y2 thanks again for staying tuned with me to the end of this video i hope that this was very informative please remember to smash that like button share and subscribe to my channel to see the latest updates and until then i'll see you again soon thanks again and take care